Hello and welcome to Biome 1004, Structure and Function, and in this presentation I'll be covering the first part of connective tissue. The learning objectives for this presentation are to define the four types of tissue in the human body, to describe the composition of connective tissue, to understand the variation in types of connective tissue, and to identify histological images from different types of connective tissue. Okay, so in the human body there are four types of tissue. We have connective tissue, muscle tissue, nervous tissue and epithelial tissue. Okay, so muscle tissue is used for bodily movement and it is specialised for contraction. Nervous tissue, which is used to transmit electrical impulses between cells and for communication. Epithelial tissue, which is used for protection, control and permeability, secretion and helping to provide sensation. And connective tissue, which is the one we're going to be mainly focusing on this presentation, is used to support connect and it's used to separate tissues and organs. Okay, so just a quick question, what are the main five types of connective tissue we can find in the human body? The answers are blood, adipose, cartilage, bone, and regular connective tissue. Okay, so connective tissue provides structural and metabolic support for other tissue and organs throughout the body. It's far more diverse than any other type of tissue type and it mainly consists of cells, fibres and something called ground substance. In regards to cell, it has a low cell density. The most common types of cells you'll find are fibroblasts, which create extracellular matrix in most tissues. In cartilage you'll find chondrocytes, and in bone you'll find osteocytes, all of which secrete extracellular matrix. In terms of fibres, the extracellular matrix is made up of bundles of fibrous proteins and ground substance. The main two types of fibres you'll probably find is collagen and elastin. So collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body. There are approximately 27 different types of collagen. And just a few examples here of the three most common types of collagen found in the human body. We've got type 1, which is found in the dermis of the skin, tendons, ligaments and bone. Type 2, which you can find in reticulin, liver, bone, marrow and lymphoid organs. Type 4, which you can find in the basement membranes of epithelial tissue. And the other main type of fibre you can find is elastin. So elastin is arranged as fibres or sheets. It's flexible and it can recoil. And you can mainly find it in the skin, lungs, blood vessels and bladder. Okay, so just a quick test to show you how effective elastin is at recoiling. If you get your fingers and between your fingertips and your knuckles, you've got this wrinkly part of your skin as seen in this picture. Right there. If you pull on that, and then just let it go down, you can see how it slowly recoils back to its original position. That is one of the main qualities of elastin, that fact that it can recoil back to its original shape. The other component of connective tissue is something called ground tissue or ground substance. This is an amorphous transparent material with the same consistency as a semi-fluid gel. What this is mainly consists of is unbranched polysaccharide chains called glycosaminoglycans, which are often abbreviated to GAGs. These are associated with tissue fluid and they help to mediate the passage of molecules through the tissue. Okay, now just for another quick test, what are the eight types of connective tissue you can find in the body? The answers are loose connective tissue, dense connective tissue, elastic connective tissue, reticular connective tissue, adipose tissue, cartilage, bone and blood. So, so loose connective tissue. The location is everywhere and it helps and it's used for support and elasticity. You can find it in subcutaneous tissue around nerves, blood vessels and muscles. It's function for support and it's a reservoir for fluid and salts. Dense connective tissue you find in tendons, ligaments and the dermis of the skin and it's used for support and transmission of mechanical forces. Elastic connective tissue you can find it in the lung tissue, large arteries, skin and bladder, so anything that requires to stretch. And its function is elasticity. Reticular connective tissue, you find it in the lymph nodes, liver and spleen, and it's used for support. Adipose tissue, the location is surrounding organs and in subcutaneous layer below the skin. Its function is for support, insulation and the storage of energy. Cartilage, you find on the ends of bone, in the ear, the esophagus, and between vertebrae. And its function is for flexible support. You have bone, which you find on the skeletal structure, so all the bones around the body. Its function is for support, protection. It's a calcium reservoir, 
and it's also used for blood cell formation. Blood, look, and you find this in the circulatory system. Its function is for the transport of oxygen, nutrients, hormones, and waste. And we've now come to the last part of the presentation. So in this test cell section, we need to try and get as many points as you can. So for this first question, looking at all these images, are you able to identify these histological slides? Try and get all eight correct if you can. And now for the written questions. So for, I'm not going to give you the masking for this. I've told you how many marks there are. I want you to try and answer the question and also create your own masking to see if you can correspond your, this many power points to what your answer is given. So for three marks, what are the main components of connective tissue? And the essay style question, give five examples of connective tissue, state where in the body you'll find these and explain how they are adapted to their particular function. So this one might require some extra reading, but it will definitely help when it comes to the exams. So again, as per usual, thank you for watching, and I hope this does help. So good luck revising, and peace out.